Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. In this problem, we are given a linked list and we have to remove every node which has a greater value anywhere to the right side of it. Let's look at this example. Here the nodes 5 and 2 have 13 on their right and because 13 is greater than them, they will have to be deleted. Similarly, node 3 has node 8 on its right and since 8 is greater than 3, we will have to delete 3. Hence, only the nodes 13 and 8 will remain in that order. Let's see how we can solve this problem. Let's reuse the same example from the problem statement. To simplify our problem, let's assume that we don't have a linked list and we are just working with the same numbers in an array. One obvious brute force way to solve this problem would be, for each element, we'll check all the elements on the right and if we find an element greater to it, we'll delete it. The time complexity would be O of n square. Let's try to improvise it. The final output from these numbers would be 13 and 8. We can observe that this would always be in a decreasing order. If this wasn't the case and let's say we had a number 10 after 8. This wouldn't be possible because 10 is greater than 8 and in this case 8 would have been removed from the output. Hence our answer must always be in a decreasing order. Hence for every number, if the numbers to the left are smaller than it, then we'll have to remove those smaller numbers. For 13, the numbers 5 and 2 to the left are smaller than it, hence we'll remove them. Similarly for 8, the number 3 to the left is smaller than it, hence we'll remove it. This operation has to be done as efficiently as possible. There is a data structure which is optimized just for this. It is called as a monotonic decreasing stack and the numbers on it are in a decreasing order. To ensure that order, for each element, we'll check all the elements on the stack. If they are lesser than our number, then we'll remove them. So only numbers which are greater to our current number will remain in the stack. Let's see with the help of an example. For first number 5, there are no numbers in the stack, hence we'll append it. For the next number 2, the top element of the stack is not smaller than it, hence we'll not remove it. Now we'll add 2 to the stack. For number 13, 2 and 5 are smaller than it, hence we'll pop them. Now we'll add 13 to our stack. For next number 3, the top element in the stack is not smaller than it, hence we'll not remove it. We'll add 3 to our stack. And for our last number 8, the top number 3 is smaller than it, hence we'll remove it. Now we'll compare it with 13. And since 13 is not smaller than it, we'll let it remain in the stack. Now we'll add 8 to our stack. Now there are no more elements and our stack will just have 13 and 8. This is our answer. The time complexity of this would be O of n because for each element we have to add and pop from the stack at most once. And the space complexity would be O of n because we are using a stack of size n. Now let's look at another solution for this. Here we will divide our problem into smaller subproblems and solve it recursively. For each node in our list, we will first solve the problem for the linked list starting from the next element till the last element. Hence for each node, the linked list on the right would already have this problem solved and it will be in decreasing order. We'll now compare our current node with the element on the right and if our current element is smaller, we'll just use the linked list on the right and if it is not smaller, we'll use the complete linked list. Let's run through a complete example of this. We'll start from the tail of our linked list. Node 8 doesn't have any node to the right which is greater to it, hence we don't have to do anything for it. Now we'll try to solve for the linked list 3, 8. We'll compare 3 with 8 and notice that it is smaller. Hence for this linked list, the head would become the next element 8. So our list will now look like. Now the decreasing order is already maintained for this linked list. We'll try to solve this problem for the linked list with head 13. Since 13 is greater than 8, we don't have to do anything and 13 will remain as the head of this linked list. Now we'll try to solve for the linked list with the head 2. 
since 2 is less than 13, our head of the linked list would become 13. Now linked list will look like this. Now we'll have to solve for this linked list. Since 5 is less than 13, our head of the linked list will become 13. And finally, our output would be this linked list. The time complexity of this would be O of n because we have to go through all the nodes only once. And the space complexity would be constant on heap memory. But because of the recursive call stack, it would take O of n stack memory. Let's implement both the solutions. Let's first implement our stack based solution. Let's initialize an empty stack. Let's keep a current pointer to traverse the linked list. We'll initialize it as head. And now we'll go through all the elements till our current element is not null. We'll keep on checking while our stack is not empty. And our current element is greater than the top element of the stack. If that is the case then we'll remove the top element of the stack. We'll continue to do this till the element on the stack is not smaller than our current element or our stack is empty. Now we'll add our current element to the stack and we'll update our current element by pointing it to the next node. Since we'll be deleting nodes from our linked list and the head node can itself be deleted, it's a good idea to keep a dummy node to handle the corner cases. Let's keep our current node to be the dummy node. And for each node in the stack, we'll add it to our new linked list by pointing our next node to it. And finally, we'll update our current node by pointing it to the next node. Let's suppose our stack had the elements 13 and 8. Our new linked list will look like this. The head would be the dummy node. But we ideally want to return the next node from our dummy node. Hence, we'll return dummy.next. Our stack solution is now complete. Let's implement our recursive solution. For our base condition, we'll have to check if our head is null. In that case, we'll have to return null. For each node, we'll first solve this problem recursively for the linked list on its right. We'll assign this to our next node. Now we'll check if the next of the current node is not null and if our current value is less than the value of the next node. In that case we'll have to delete our current node. So we can directly return the next node to be the head of this linked list. And if our current node is not smaller than the next node, we'll let it remain as the head of this linked list and return it. We are done with both our solutions. I'll be leaving a link to the code for both these solutions. If you have any doubts or concerns regarding this solution, please mention in the comments. If you found this video to be helpful, please support this channel by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.